Hi everyone, uh, good news that uh, you know yesterday night uh, which I ran this 12.2.10 uh, uh, from the backup it got successfully completed right if you are able to see this uh, you know last week I ran 12.12.13 that got successful and 12.2.10 that also got successful we can what we can do we will try to access it uh, if you see if you click this it shows all the steps what it has done and you know whenever you are free you can always verify what it has done so I just want to show you that uh, you, know, you can also there is some log files also you can verify that's fine so our uh, main intention is uh, uh, just to okay just let me capture this particular screenshot which I don't have so it is successfully completed so now we'll try to log in and verify everything. Right, so now you can click it to get more information about the instances, right, zone one, right, and also you can get the public IP. This is the public IP of the database. So let where is the public IP of the application? Right, so here is the public IP of the application. So you can see here also all the you know all the details you can see the, the application details the database details you can you can see here and also you can also watch from the you know from the console also if it, if you are if you are not able to see here you can also verify uh, but at both places the details will be there about the database and the you know the application so why not I I go to application and see them right so I will connect to console I am already connected to console so go to compute instance go to instances select your compartment oh already we have selected the compartment and uh, yeah if I am correct yeah these are the top two one is the application and one is the uh, database tire so why not we capture this particular screen and yeah so this is the one right so just see that if uh, your compute instance where it is your application your compartment right all of them so this is the IPs what you need to know so which is also matching with what we have right so now we'll try to log into that system we'll, we'll try to log into this uh, compute instance so uh, through putty you can connect I have already uploaded the the PPK so I normally what I do is uh, I just go here and uh, okay so this is the so I'll just select one of them okay some right so maybe let me see oh, this is the target so copy this and connect the PPK is already uploaded uh, in, in your case you may have to upload the uh, PPK I use this uh, remote NG which is really good yeah so now I'm connected there so if I'm if I'm correct the entire application should have been up now right because application is started here it has successfully cloned so now what you can do you can uh, just refer them and see whether you are able to access it right so what I'll do I will go to this one let me get the looking for the environment file ah, so here is the environment file copy the environment file to home location run that environment file grep uh, the URL we may have to release the right we may have to release this one so before that uh, without releasing I'll just try to see first of all 8000 port has to be released ingress rule has to be released so how you do this you this is the best way select your you know, compute instance select your subnet go to security list and verify whether uh, you know 8000 okay there are yeah 8000 is released but with some restrictions so we'll just uh, we just don't want any restrictions on this one So 8000 release 8000 port, right? So why not I capture this particular screenshot?
right so release the 8000 port which we have done and uh, the next thing is we need to collect the yeah so this is the thing right uh, so we need to try to access it so what I'll do I make an entry in the host file and let's try without uh, without creating an ingress rule surely we cannot access it but I just want to show you uh, oh, I need to go to compute instances right uh, so here is the one what you collected right so what you do you go and make an entry in the host file go to windows system 32 drivers etc host file right copy this information and paste it okay so make the changes in the host file so now we will without doing anything we will try to access it um, let's see if it works or not right if you see that we are not able to access it uh, I need to release that port from the back end so for that what I'll do I just go and collect that information 1072 so there is something called a firewall CMD So you release the port you need to connect as a root go back and uh, connect to root yeah 8000 uh, reload it uh, bye uh, so this one oh it's a double one Uh, it doesn't takes like that <laughs> right this is the correct command so let me update my documentation and finally uh, the list you can always see whether 8000 port has been released okay now hopefully we should be able to access it so let us see there you go there you go you are able to access it so now let me capture this particular details so step number one ingress rule and release the port so this one right you release this port and then you access it so you are able to successfully access it the application so let us connect and see uh, what it will do what it will tell us login so first time we need to unlock we need to unlock the sessions that's what I'm just thinking let's see oh it is successfully uh, logged in so yeah we are good now so far uh, we are we are doing good uh, so this is the last session about uh, the lift and shift uh, so if at all we, we want to revisit uh, revisit this i think the best hop the best one is to open this uh, diagram uh, so why not we discuss like you know we have did lot of things you know if we have done lot and lot of things it is not that easy to sh you know uh, to implement this but uh, you know I appreciate if you really do this so first we install the cloud manager that was the, uh, the, the the first session what we did uh, from the marketplace we have image F using that we created the cloud manager that was around 140 page document then for the source uh, from the marketplace we have a 
you know using the marketplace we installed 12.2 image that is also an image so that comes with the uh, 19c uh, database in a real time it will be on premises so where they implement the fast connect uh, or ipsec vpn through that they'll be doing but you know we'll go through this route uh, and now on the source database so once it is been configured on the source database you'll you'll take this particular patch and you run this particular script and provide all the details about the database about the application right and about the cloud details three things database application and about the cloud details the OSID tenancy OSID uh, the PEM key right you copy the PEM key from the e business uh, from the cloud manager to the uh, this particular database which are all the steps are made mentioned then it goes to the object storage then from uh, from the cloud manager you are going to perform a clone and uh, uh, once it is completed you have seen that it is uh, you know successfully uh, completed you know successfully completed and we have seen that it has been successfully completed so now uh, it is only that how do you log in so for that uh, identify the you know compute instance so what is the IP address you do uh, and only one firewall rule what we need to add the ingress rule from the the ingress rule from the uh, front end and the firewall rule from the back end and then you can you are successfully able to access Oracle e business so this is the end of this particular session we have successfully uh, did a lift and shift of our Oracle e business instance from our on premises to cloud now hope you enjoyed this particular session uh, I pass on your comments uh, at admin at apps all the best for you